she's got them bad and she feels so sad want the world to know just what a blues is all about One of the greatest thrills of my life was portraying Billie Holiday in Lady Sings the Blues. <laughs> Billie was more than a singer. She was a vocal musician. And she always surrounded herself with the best and the finest instrumentalist in the business. And in that tradition, I am proud to share this stage and this medley of Billie Holiday songs with some jazz greats. On piano, Joe Sample. <laughs> Jerome Richardson on saxophone. <laughs> Red Calendar on bass. Yeah. And on drums, Louis Belson. <laughs> I'm truly honored. Gentlemen, we'll start with a song that uh, Billie Holiday wrote. Yeah. Them that's got shall get. Them that's not shall lose. So the Bible says, and it's still. Your mama may have, and papa may have, but God bless the child that's got his own, that's got his own. the bread and sun you can help yourself but don't take too much your mama may have and papa may have but god bless the child that's got his own that's got Bye. 
time now, but this is my favorite from all of the songs. Oh, my man, I love him so. He'll never know all my life is just despair. I don't care when he takes me in his arms. The world is right, all right. And what's the difference if I say? country group and to present it here is the Academy of Country Music's best male best new male vocalist of this past year Randy Travis and from Lisa Lisa and the cult jam cult jam who else Lisa Lisa okay let's talk about good jeans no nope, nope I'm not talking about the kind that you wear the kind that comes from having a legendary gospel singer for mother <laughs> And Dionne Warwick for a cousin. Wait, when your jeans are that good, it means that you're going to have the biggest debut album of a solo performer ever, filled with number one hit singles. Don't get excited. It means that you're Whitney Houston. I think you're so wonderful. I do. <laughs> Too much, huh? <laughs> I think she's great. Too much. Here comes the award for favorite pop rock video by a group. And here comes a lot of rock and roll energy in the persons of Chubby Checker and Meatlo. <laughs> of the next group of musicians was in 1966. For the past 20 years, this remarkable band has continued to grow in artistry and popularity, picking up whole new generations of fans on the way, with enough energy left over to spark successful solo, solo careers. Ladies and gentlemen, by satellite, from Cleveland, Tony Banks, Phil Collins, Mike Rutherford, Genesis. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And now the award for favorite male artist. And to tell us the soul and R&B contenders, here are two people who make beautiful music, one vocal and one instrumental. Ladies and gentlemen, Natalie Cole and Herbie Hancock. 
Now to tell us the four nominees for favorite com country male, here are four favorite country females, the Forrester sisters. <laughs> This year, Peter, Paul, and Mary have just celebrated their 25th anniversaries together. They are a trio of performers who have made folk singing into an art, an education, an entertainment, an e expression of our hopes and our for better, for peace I in the world, sorry, peace in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, music. their career. Our next award is for favorite pop rock male artist, and to present it, here are Fleetwood Mac and Ray Parker, Jr. <laughs> well, that takes care of our males. Now, we'll be rounding out the evening with the top female artists in a few minutes. But first, <laughs> I want to introduce a star who has had an amazing career. She's always brought the fantastic energy to her category of the evening. Favorite female artist. And to present all three awards, here are Stephen Stills and Lou Rawls. I've had so much fun hosting the American Music Awards again this year. And I just want to thank everybody here tonight that helped made, make it such a wonderful show. This year's American Music Awards would like to close with a real special song. This song was not included in Cashbox year-end top 100 poll. Instead, because of the charitable purpose of the song, it was given the magazine's Special Achievement Award. The proceeds from the sale of the song has gone to the American Foundation for AIDS Research. Written by Bert Bacharach, Carol Bear Sager, and performed by Dionne Warwick, who invited her friends, Elton John, Gladys Knight, Stevie Wonder, to join her in singing it. It became the year's biggest selling single, and it's a perfect example of how the music community responds when there's a need. Because, after all, that's what friends are for. Now, to my mind, there's only one person that could lead us in this song. And do you agree? Dion? Dion Warwick, please come up and sing.
brought to you by the new shape of the Mercury Cougar. Mercury, the shape you want to be in. McDonald's. Enjoy McDonald's double features now at a McDonald's near you. And Bud Light. Everything else is just a light.